Well, welcome back to Chinaron. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the primer bulb on a Tecumseh engine. This particular engine is on a string trimmer. If it was on a lawnmower, it'd be a little bit easier to replace. But on this machine here, I've got a wheel uh, that I have to remove to get to it. And as you can see on this primer bulb, it's all cracked and we need to replace that because it just won't run right. Uh, in fact, it got to the point where it was actually falling apart. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see, this isn't kind of in the way because when we go put this back on, we're going to be using a socket. So let's go ahead and get rid of this wheel. And that is just a, uh, it's a 7 16 on this particular machine. And I got a couple of blocks of wood to put underneath this, so it will keep it up. There we go. Kind of pull that wheel, get that out of the way. Now on this primer bulb, all you need to do is just kind of rip that out of there. It doesn't really matter that it's, uh, it's, it's broken or anything like that because it's, you're going to destroy it taking it out. So just kind of grab that and pull it off. You might have to use a pair of plies. This was so rotted, but you can see what was going on. It was cracked and uh, it would run, but it wouldn't run right. And then what you need to do is you need to get in there and you need to pull out the old pieces. And I made this tool here years ago for this very problem. Um, but you can use, I actually have uh, uh, the right pick here to use it, but I just want to show you if you don't have that, you can just take a screwdriver and just kind of, you know, bend it and grind it down and you'll find it'll work fine. Okay, so what we're trying to do is there's a clip in there that we want to get a hold of. And once you do that, you should be able to pull it right out of there. Don't worry about breaking it because you're not going to be reusing it anyways. There it is right there. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to remove that clip right there. And then go ahead and get the rest of that primer bulb out of there. And there you go. That's the rest of the primer bulb. And if you've got some PB Blaster kicking around or WD-40, go ahead and just kind of clean that up. Then you want to take your new one. This comes in a package of two. I've gotten them in packages of five. I think this might be actually my last package. So I'll put a link down below on where, the, where you get these. So then you just take your new primer bulb, and basically what's going to happen is you need to make sure that you put it in with the, uh, these tips kind of pointing back towards you this way and outwards, because that's actually what's going to hold that primer bulb from falling out. So when we push that in there like this, all right, it's going to keep that from falling out. So just take, uh, this is a 19 millimeter socket, seems to work good, and you're just going to hit that. And let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera. <laughs> and I have to move my camera here. There you go. So our new primer bulb, if you look, you'll see what I'm talking about. That will keep those, the ridges here will keep that from coming out. And there we go, we got our new primer bulb all installed. Wipe it down there a little bit. We're going to put our wheel back on and we should be all set. Okay, well there it is all set to go. So as you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of time to put that in. Um, I wanted to use my tool here because I, sometimes a lot of people say, well, they don't have the tools to do it. Well, then you might end up having to build something, and that's what I ended up doing with this. I do have the right picks. I've got some nice craftsman picks here that work really well, but I just wanted to show you that you can make something and it'll work. Well, hope that helps you with your Tecumseh engine primer bulb, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.